Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine, and this is going to be your daily recap for Days of Our Lives for September the 10th, which was Thursday. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, because every time you hit that like button, it lets YouTube know this is a good video for soap fans, so they can be part of our soap fam. These daily recaps are new. I'm doing it this week and next week. And if it's popular, I'll continue to do it. So let me know in the comment section if you want more daily recaps. So it started off with um, me putting my first note. Why would Chad leave the table to go check on the kids? Clearly, he's going to call home and check on the kids. And Abigail, I forgot what Abigail was going to do, but they both left the table. That way, Gwen had an opportunity to poison, uh, to drug uh, Abigail's drink. And and that just stood out to me as, you know, holes in the writing, because why would Chad have to actually leave the table to check on the kids when all he had to do is pull out his phone and call and check on the kids? Why did he have to leave the table? It would make more sense if he said, I need to use the restroom, I need to use the bathroom, um, I need to use men's room, and they both kind of went their separate ways away from the table already. They've had they had Julie leave the scene, so so gave Gwen plenty of time to do what she needed to do. But to me, it would have been a lot. It just didn't register with me with him saying he need to go check on the kids. It's like you weren't gonna like ride home and check on your kids. You're just gonna go on your phone. So or if he got a business call and said, "Hey, I, this is a um, business. Let me take this outside. Too many people, whatever." That would have been acceptable. But that's starting out the gate for this episode that kind of threw me off marcy miller is a strong and aggressive abigail and she takes no ish from anyone that's the number one thing that i love about marcy miller's abigail she always looks like she's ready ready to slap slap a chick so <laughs> and when she looks at Gwen, i'm like she's this close to slapping you did you 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 gotta say everything right because abigail is on you she's got your number and she's ready to ready to get into it. Unfortunately, Kate Manzi, when she came back, I loved her as Abigail, but when she came back for this last time round, it was like she didn't want to be on the show. She refused to be on contract. She's just reoccurring. So she didn't get a storyline. She just happened to be there. They didn't want to have to come up with a reason to break up Abigail and Chad. And, you know, so she was just collecting the check. And she gave us no energy or anything from Abigail she was just there Marcy is ready to work so I really appreciate that Sierra supposedly blown up was boring for the simple fact that I know Sierra's not dead Sierra um, the actress um, is going to be on Victoria is going to be on reoccurring basis we're going to see her every once in a while and so she either comes back or they recast her so they didn't kill Sierra but I'm like, didn't Ben, when he looked inside of the car, did he not see that there was Sierra wasn't in there? Clearly she wasn't in there because she's not dead. And even if like he was trying to get in the trunk or something, would have made more sense. But that did nothing for me. Is like, this is the exit storyline. Let's get it over with. We move on. I'm ready for the next thing. I don't want to drag out Sierra's exit. Xander stressing over Philip taking his job. It was okay. It was basically filler for the episode. And him and Philip going back and forth, it, it was okay. They both were CEOs of Titan. And of course, Xander wants Philip all the way out and vice versa. So they were just, you know, you know, doing a measuring contest to seeing who had the longest ruler. <laughs> and then we had um Chad threatening Jake because he snitched. Now, this is the only real problem I have with the episode. Even the Sierra stuff I know is, is mandatory. People who love the character. I love the character. It's just that when I know you're leaving, I just rip the band-aid off. That's always been how I felt. And that's why in general hospitals, <laughs> spoilers and whatnot, I'm like, all right, let's get rid, let's get rid of uh, Mike because... Y'all been dragging this death on for like two years. So, so you know, and no, when I know a character I like is leaving, I I just like, you know what, just go. <laughs> I just go. You know, 
seeing you, knowing you're leaving only makes me miss you more. So I'd rather you just jet. But uh, I really felt like they missed a big opportunity. Instead of making Chad and Jake enemies, I really would have loved it if Chad actually gave Jake a chance. Jake is sort of like a puppy that's being kicked around and, and, and looking like, won't somebody love me? <laughs> and I feel so bad for Jake. And I feel bad for Chad because Chad doesn't have any family. He really only has Abigail and his kids. And it would be nice to see some Demirers that get along. Andre's gone. Tony's gone. Um, Stefano's way gone. Kristen is always gone. There's no family dynamics or relationships with the Demirers anymore. So I would have loved it if Chad and Jake started off friends or being friendly and actually gave Chad another guy who he could just be friends with because they took away Will and Sonny, which he also wasn't getting scenes with. So I'm like, this was a missed opportunity to put some sort of fun and light and love and relationships and family and into the, to the mix. Of course, when or Abigail would come between them and then there could be some friction then, but I would have loved for them to have an opportunity to be brothers instead of just like hate at first sight because he's not Stefan. Um, ben is taken to the hospital. That happened really fast, but the car was still on fire. And, you know, I'm a retired firefighter. And as a retired firefighter, I'm like sitting there watching the screen like, um, it don't take that long to put out a car fire because I put out plenty of car fires when I was a firefighter. It, it's actually a really fast. The only thing that of course it wouldn't happen is when you're a firefighter you know you're supposed to stay away from the tires because heats up and the hubcaps blow and so they're always like you know don't stand in the direction of the hubcaps because the hubcaps blow it could take out your legs and then you won't have any legs or you know you know what i'm saying so watching the character standing directly in the line of fire of the tires just as a retired firefighter i was like don't do that don't do that. But of course, only a firefighter would, would know that or, or pick that out. Um, and finally, Gwen drugs Abigail's drink again. But if you watch my soap spoilers, you know that uh, she doesn't drink it. Chad comes in and she walks away. And that was the episode. I'm trying to do these between three and five minutes. I see this is going on eight minutes. So I'm going to cut this off right now because I'm three minutes over. Let me know in the comment section what you think about today, uh, Thursday's episode of Days of Our Lives, and I'll see you in the next video.